Hi everybody, it's Robin here. Uh, I just thought I would take some time to show you one of my family's favorite meals. And one of the things that we love is using Epicure's Good Food Real Fast Meal Kits. Uh, tonight we're gonna be actually making an Asian meal for my family for dinner. And I thought, why not show you how we make it too? Um, the thing I love about the Epicure's uh, Good Food Real Fast Meal Kits is that we actually come with all the recipes you need or all the ingredients you need rather to make five different recipes. So similar to something you would find and I'm actually missing one of the recipe cards, but similar, similar to what you would find in like a HelloFresh food box where you're gonna pay upwards of $11.50 per serving. Epicure's uh, ingredients come all in here with your recipes. All you need to do is do a quick, quick click and collect. Got your grocery list in here as well. Um, do a quick click and collect to be able to collect your groceries online, get those ordered and pick them up, and then you're ready to make your meal at home because you've got the rest of the ingredients and the recipes right here. Epicure's meals are generally made between $2.50 and $3.50 per serving in your house. So you're gonna be saving quite a bit more money than doing your HelloFresh and Chef Plate and some of those types of uh, food delivery services. So tonight we're gonna be making Asian lettuce wraps, which is, again, like as I said, it's one of my family's favorite meals. And without further ado, we'll get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually cook our meat. And the thing that I love to do when we're in a hurry, now, right now we're not in a hurry, but many evenings in the summer especially, or uh, hockey season, we're out rushing around. Uh, I love to use my multi-purpose steamer to be able to cook a, a meal in a hurry. Uh, so I've got a pound of ground beef in here, as you can see. I'm just gonna use our meat separator, our ground beef separator here, and give that a good mash up there just to separate that really nicely. Okay, and once that's separated out, I'm gonna add our dry seasoning. So in this recipe, it calls for the Asian stir fry seasoning. And I'm gonna take a tablespoon using the four in one spice spoon. So with Epicure's uh, spoon, you've got a tablespoon measurement, a teaspoon measurement, and then on the back, you've got a half teaspoon, and then there's a line here for your quarter teaspoon. So you can actually get rid of some of the bulk in your um, drawers. And then they're actually designed to be able to fit right into these jars. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of seasoning in here. And then I'm gonna add some soy sauce. And you can use tamari if you need gluten-free. Um, that's a very similar flavor. So I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of soy sauce in here. And here's the beauty of it. I'm gonna seal it off, I'm gonna put it in the microwave and it's gonna cook for five minutes and then it's gonna be ready to eat. So we'll do that. So while that's cooking, the next step in this meal is to make our toppers. So in Asian lettuce wraps, I've got a half bag of the pre-cut um, coleslaw mix that I use. So it's your cabbage. You can also cut it fresh if you prefer that too. Just tonight, that's what I've got. So to make our salad dressing, I'm gonna use Epicure's cruet with the silicone funnel that was again designed to fit right into our jar. And I'm gonna take the sesame ginger dressing mix. This is an amazing dressing. Uh, I love it because it's also a really good meat marinade, but it's got really nice flavors. So I'm gonna use my spoon again and do two tablespoons of seasoning. And that's gonna go into the jar there. And then I'm gonna take three tablespoons soy sauce and add that to the mix and then the next thing I'm going to add is rice vinegar I'm going to do a half cup of rice vinegar just measure that out And then lastly, I'm going to add a third of a cup of olive oil. And I prefer to use extra virgin olive oil, but it's kind of whatever you got at home that works for you. Okay. Thing about using fresh salad dressings is once you've gone fresh, you'll never go back to using pre-store bought dressings. They're really low in sodium and they can be stored for up to about two weeks. 
Uh, and they don't actually even need to go in your fridge because they are they have no ingredients that really need to be kept that way. If you do want to put it in your fridge, that's fine. You'll just notice that your olive oil will kind of thicken a little bit. Uh, you just need to take it out to room temperature for a few minutes uh, once you're ready to use it and let that soften again. So we're gonna use about half of this jar now that we've given it a good mix and just pour that in to your coleslaw mix and set that aside. I'll probably end up using that uh, dressing on another recipe later on. I'll probably end up using it as a meat marinade. It's one of my other favorite ways of using that stuff. So we'll just give that a quick little stir to coat that. Okay, and that's ready to go. I'll set that aside for a minute. Should mention too, this uh, little tray actually goes and comes with the multi-purpose steamer that's in there. It's a great little thing if you're trying to cook chicken or veggies or you want to cook both at the same time but give a separator. You can also cook bacon on here in five minutes for a tray of bacon or you could do homemade potato chips as well. So that's a great little tool that comes right with that. All right, the last thing we're gonna make is our aioli. So that's the sauce that goes on top of your lettuce wrap. And the kit comes with the chipotle aioli which you can see it is very, very full. <laughs> it comes with a really good, generous portion of that. They definitely wanna get your meals, money's worth. So all we're using for this is about a half cup of mayo. I'm gonna put two teaspoons of this approximately in here. And then I've already pre-measured out some lemon juice to make this an aioli. So an aioli is really just a mayo spread that people use for sandwiches and it makes it sound fancier when you call it an aioli. So that's why we do that. I'm just gonna give that a little stir. all mixed in there it's ready to go and you can see it just makes a nice light sauce kind of a thicker sauce it's also really good as a sandwich spread if you're making like a roast beef sandwich or turkey sandwich anything you want a little bit of a chipotle flavor with and you're ready to go there so the basics of your meal are pretty much done before your meat is finished being cooked so how fast is that right anybody can find time to make that so basically, normally when I would be serving this, I would be serving it on a bigger plate and I would have rice finished. It's still cooking for my family right now. And I normally would buy some Boston lettuce or something that's kind of a little bit leafier and looser so that it can actually be wrapped properly. Um, but as we know, <laughs> uh, grocery stores around my area are sometimes a little bit more limited. So we're gonna use just regular iceberg lettuce today. And our meat is all set. Take this out, you can see that steam coming out there and all that perfectly cooked meat. I'm just gonna get a spatula here to separate that up again because my meat separator is a little bit messy still. But see how beautifully cooked that meat is? There's no red in it, it is completely ready to go. So you just kind of break that up into smaller pieces. Normally that meat separator would be better used once your meat is cooked, maybe not so much when it's still uh, raw meat. It'll give it a, ni a nicer, finer break there. Once your meat is ready to go, this is how we build our aioli, or our lettuce wrap. First, we're going to add a little bit of salad mix to it. Next, we're going to add our meat. throwing it around here and then lastly we're going to top that off with some aioli mix and now you're ready for supper so that's how easy it can be to make a meal with Epicure. I love that I can make healthy meals for my family in just a few minutes and we can get meals on the table in a hurry so we can get off to the next event that we've got going on that night, which in our family is most nights. So I hope you've enjoyed this Asian cooking class. Again, we used our good Asian real fast meal kit, the Epicure multi-purpose steamer, and then we used the cruet for our salad dressing and then a few other little things like the tongs and our, um, 
meat separator and then our spice spoon as well. So if there's any questions about anything that I've said here and you want more information, make sure you reach out and let me know. Thanks for watching everyone.